no matter what your project, we're going to use the Oxy Total Care to clean and we're going to use the wood brightener to remove any graying that may have occurred from the sun. Now if you don't have graying, you may not necessarily need the brightener, but usually we're going to see most wood that's been exposed outside, it's going to need the brightener. Now we're actually going to even sand this wood a little bit. This is a bench sits outside a store in Nunsuch, Kentucky and there actually is a town called Nunsuch, one word, N-O-N-E-S-U-C-H, Nunsuch, Kentucky and you can come down and see this bench grab a soda and take in the sights but we're going to talk about the various choices that we could choose for this wood bench the first choice is going to be the one-time wood protector now the one-time is going to offer color and protection but it's going to be a matte flat it's going to be like an oiled look but this is going to be an alternative to the typical uh, wood stains available like at Home Depot the Bear Stain uh, Sherwin Williams the Coupernaw this is a much superior twice as long lasting product it's called one time wood protector and the one time is a uh, actually a unique product there's no solvent in it and there's no water in it uh, it cures with the sun and this would give us four or five years of nice protection in full sun uh, and we would just simply wash it and recoat. Now a common coating that a lot of people would consider is the Sickens uh, Cetol line and that's been around for years. The Sickens is a nice finish if you want a furniture finish more like uh, a satin sheen where the one time will be flat and just kind of out of sight, out of mind, but very beautiful. The Sickens will kind of take it to the next level and it'll be like a piece of furniture. Now, the downside to the Sickens is it's a three coat system and it is a film forming product. And so if it's neglected or not coated, recoated in a, an appropriate time, it could peel. So for my projects like this, I like water locks. I mean, I'm gonna go with the water locks marine sealer uh, this is a tongue oil finish and tongue oil is such a great waterproofer it's been used for years it used to waterproof boats in ancient China but anyway Waterlocks has a, a marine sealer that's going to seal the, and waterproof the wood and then we have a marine top coat that will protect from sunlight graying now a big qualification on the Waterlocks if it's in full sun with no coverage we're going to be recoding probably every 12 to 18 months. But there's no sanding required to recoat. It's just a beautiful way to take care of wood. As long, if you really have some wood that you want to appreciate, I think the Waterlocks is, is represents the best choice. It's such a thin film, it's a hardening oil. So nothing really to ever peel, it just kind of goes away. Now, we're looking here at a piece of Brazilian rosewood, actually from Belize, uh, rosewood. And you can see the gray uh, wood that was left on this. This was a, a basically a debarked piece of wood that was sanded. We put the water locks on and you can see how it pulls the color out of this. And we're going to expect the same kind of thing on this mahogany. But if that's your choice for a nice finished furniture finished piece of wood, the water locks is going to be your best choice. Second choice would be the Sickens. Um, recoat that about every four years, three years, or just the one-time wood protector if you just want to have it not gray, not show weathering, uh, and coated about every five or six years, then we do the one-time. I hope this is helpful.